Exodus chapter 4, verses 1 to 3 read, And Moses answered and said, But behold, they will not believe me, nor hearken unto my voice. For they will say, The Lord hath not appeared unto thee. And the Lord said unto him, What is that in thine hand? And he said, A rod. And he said, Cast it on the ground. And he cast it on the ground. And it became a serpent. And Moses fled from before it. We all deal with fears from the very beginning. When we were children, fear was instilled in us. Fear of heights, fear of getting shocked, fear of fire. Because fear is a good protection for humans. Fear is not entirely bad. It protects us in a certain way. It protects the swimmer from drowning. It protects the runner from running too fast and having an accident. It is good. But there comes a phase in our life when fear is no longer a protector. It is paralyzing. This is where we need to start learning to overcome what has paralyzed us. There is a lot of frustration today, people living a mediocre life because they were afraid to make a tough decision to change their story. I'll tell you something. There are things we're terrified of, and when we face them, we regret the time we didn't live those moments. I've learned one thing in life. Everything is difficult until someone faces everything in life. It seems impossible until one day someone, bravely facing it, makes it possible. You only truly live when you face fear. I have so much hope that many things that are paralyzed in your life will move from today on. I have so much hope that you, watching this message, will take a leap in your life to live God's perfect plan for you. No matter how impossible it seems, if Jesus is with you, be sure it will work out. If he is with you, his power is with you. There are no obstacles, no impossibles that can paralyze you. Fear is overcome by the power in the Lord Jesus. Do you have fear? In him, courage abounds. In him, everything you lack overflows. Are you afraid? Trust in him, because if he is with you, it will work out. There are things in life where courage alone is not enough. We will need help. There are things in life where we will need someone to complete us. What you lack needs to be in abundance in the other. What God is saying is, fear will not paralyze what I have for you. Lift your head. Shake off the dust. Put God in your heart. Put the courage of the Lord and go. If there is one word, that word sustains you on the way. But you will only live if you overcome fear. Be strong and courageous. Look inside yourself and find what paralyzes you. Take courage. God has called you. God has shown that he is with you. God will send you help. Be strong and courageous. Jesus, I love you. You are wonderful. Jesus, everything that paralyzes us. When the Lord enters, all the fears we create, all the barriers we put against your will are destroyed. In the name of Jesus, Father, may we be like Moses. It doesn't matter if we lack talent. It doesn't matter if we don't speak like others. If the Lord is giving us the mission, we will embrace it wholeheartedly. Help us overcome fear. Help us remove it from within us. Things that paralyze us, that distance us from your presence, that prevent us from living an extraordinary family life, an amazing life. Jesus, please, we desire your will, and if necessary, we will step out without seeing the ground. If your voice is in the midst of the storm, we will step out of the boat. In the name of Jesus, amen.